Welcome to State of Tech. We're going to go over Mextures for iOS 7. If we open up the application, it's going to load us here into the start screen where we have three options. We can go right into our camera and begin taking a photo to use inside the application. We can view Inspiration, which if I tap there, it's going to load up a feed here on a Tumblr page and we can scroll through and view some inspirational photos that people have used making and creating with the Mextures application. If we go ahead and tap on one, it's going to bring it up full screen, and then we can go ahead and swipe and view this here right here. Hit the X in the top right hand corner, it's going to close that picture out, and then we can continue scrolling down the inspiration feed here, and we can go ahead and continue viewing photos. Once we reach the bottom of the page, we can hit next, and it's going to load up the next set of photos here in our inspiration. If we hit the X in the top left hand corner, it's going to bring us back to the main menu where if I open the camera, I'll tap on there, it's going to load our camera here with iOS 7 interface where we can take a photo to use inside the application. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of here. And then in the bottom right hand corner, we can hit library, which is going to open up our camera library where we can choose a photo from our camera roll or even an album that we have to go ahead and edit here inside the application. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll through my camera roll, go all the way to the bottom, and we're going to load in a photo that I've recently taken. So for this example, let's go ahead and use this photo right here. I'll tap on there, and now we have some options. If we crop it, it's going to crop it into a one by one square, perfect for Instagram if you want to use it, or we can go ahead and not crop, which is going to allow us to use the photo as it was originally taken. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and just crop it down to a square. We'll tap crop, and you see it's going to crop the photo. Now here we have our mixtures main area, which is going to be our um, different texture packs and formulas that we can apply to our photo. You see on these ones we have uh, Radiance, Grit and Grain, Light Leaks, another Light Leaks version 2, Emulsion, Grunge, Landscape Enhancement, and Vintage. So if I tap on one, you see right here I'm in a grunge area where I can go ahead and select some filters. So if I tap on some, you see how it subtly changes the photo by applying a filter to the photo. So once I've done that, you see I've got right now Viva La Grunge. So if I tap on the bottom, you see this bottom arrow. If I tap there, it's going to bring me back into where I can apply more textures. If I tap on the magic wand here, you see I can change the blending mode. Currently it's set to overlay, but if you want to, go ahead and choose screen, multiply, and you see what each different blend mode does to the photo as I select it. So once you've found the blend mode that you want to use, go ahead and leave it there. For this one, I actually thought that the screen looked pretty good, so we'll go ahead and do there. The slider here on the right hand side of the screen is actually a opacity. So you see I can bring it all the way up or bring it down a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. We have a little arrow down here in the bottom right hand corner of the image. So if I tap on that, you see it rotates the actual image around so I can place this texture whichever direction I like it to be in. I think it looks better right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, hit the check mark, and it's going to save my changes. Now you see next to the wand I have a 1, so if I tap on that, it's going to allow me to see all my layers. If I hit the eye over a layer, you see it hides the layer that I'm actually selecting, so I can see the original image or even come back to that. I can still change the opacity here on this layer here. Go ahead and leave it there for now, and then hit the check mark, and it's going to save that. If I hit the plus button, it's going to allow me to create a new layer. You see I can either select in the pack that I've been using or use the current pack. So I'm going to go ahead and select a new pack. I'm going to come out here. For this one, let's go ahead and choose a uh, landscape enhancement. So I'm going to choose that, and you see as I select again is through each one, how it's changing the photo and making it look better and adding some textures to the background of it. So once we've found one that we like, we'll keep going through. And I thought that the actual first one that we had, Autumn Skies, looked pretty good. So I'll go ahead and select that, maybe rotate it around, put it there. Change the opacity a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and hit the plus button again, add a new layer, select a new pack. And for this one, let's go ahead and use a light leak. And we'll go ahead and choose a different light leak here. I think that one looks pretty good, the bouquet baby. And we'll go ahead and use that one. Maybe we'll change the opacity a little bit. And now when we're ready to, say this is the final form of our photo, we're going to hit the share button and it's going to prepare our image. And once we've done that, you see we can save it to our photo library, share, open with, or save our current formula. 
So if this was a formula that we created and we wanted to use it for multiple photos, I'll go ahead and save it. So if I tap save current formula, I'll enter a formula name for this one. I thought it's a nice little summer photo. So we'll just name it summer for now. And then we'll hit save. So now next time I load in a photo, I can actually apply the specific formula that I created. You see the three layers here, which are my Viva La Grunge, the Autumn Skies, and then the Bouquet Baby. So if I come in and apply another photo, I can apply this exact formula to it. So I'll go ahead and save this image again, prepare the image, save it to my photo library, and it's been saved. Now if I go ahead and save again, prepare the image, and if I want to share, I'll tap share and you see I can do Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or mail, which will allow me to open up the application or with Facebook or Instagram or Twitter actually, you see it's going to load in the iOS uh, Facebook post page or the tweet sheet here inside of iOS. Now let's go ahead and hit the X in the top left hand corner, which we're going to start all the way over and then we'll hit yes. Brings me back to where I can select a new photo. Now let's go ahead and find another photo to use. We'll scroll down to our camera roll. And let's pick another photo from that set that I thought would be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and choose this one right here. We'll set the crop to where we want it to. And I'll go ahead and crop that photo. Now I have formulas. You see on the texture packs, but now I have formulas on the right hand side where I can choose from my formulas, guest formulas, or summer formulas. So if I hit my formulas, you see I have the summer one that I created just now. Or I have another one that I called coolness, which is kind of a cooler filter that I can apply on top of this photo. And you see it's the same formula that I just used. Now if I hit the arrow on the bottom menu of the screen, I can come back out and we have guest formulas, which we can view formulas by specific artists. So if I tap on one, go ahead and remove the edits I've already done. And now I can see all of their formulas and apply them to my photo and then save them out. And I can even come back out and even view all guest formulas where I can scroll through each and every single one of them to apply this to my photo to get my photo to look the way that I want to. And this is how we're going to use Mextures for iOS 7.